everyone. So I wanted to get on and talk about a movie I saw last night called Bandersnatch, a Netflix interactive movie where you get to make the decisions for the characters. A spinoff of Netflix hit series Black Mirror, I will not be giving this one a conventional review. This review may not even be more than just a couple minutes. Instead, I'm just going to talk about it and give you my thoughts for many, many reasons. First one being that I've never seen Black Mirror. And trying to judge something that exists in a universe that I know nothing about would just be plain dumb. Plus, Banner Snatch, I believe it has five to six different endings with multiple pathways during the movie that the creators say, some of which may never be unlocked. And some of the decisions you make could possibly lead you down a more indulgent experience than the one I had. But Banner Snatch to me wasn't about the movie. It's the fun time I had making the decisions in Banner Snatch, which feels like part movie, part video game, that makes this so interesting and worth watching. Which is funny also because what I just said, that's what Banner Snatch is all about. It's 1984, and a young video game programmer, Stefan, played by Fionn Whitehead, is attempting to adapt a fantasy novel into a video game. After an executive company accepts the fan's pitch of his unfinished game, things start to go many different directions for Stefan, as he begins to question his reality and the world around him. But if you would rate this movie, being honest, Bandersnatch, as a movie, wasn't very good. At the time, though, like I said, this was an absolute blast, playing along with my friend, deciding the pathways that are taken in this interactive movie. I actually want to watch this with my dad now and show him how cool it is. Bandersnatch is definitely something you should watch with someone, your friends, your family, anybody you have. But I do have to say that although I don't remember language or nudity or any sexual themes, I'm not saying they're not in there. I went down one path, but the chosen path I did go down did contain drug use, which may be kind of awkward to watch with your family and unsuitable for children. There is this one scene, though, or this path I went down. I have to talk about it. I'm trying not to spoil it. Let's just say you are Netflix, a streaming channel from the future. All I'm going to say, but if your story leads you here, I uncontrollably laughed out loud until I cried and I felt like my eyeballs were going to pop out of my head. 100% worth watching just for that moment alone and one of the best laughs I've had in years. Sometimes you do feel like, though, that the path is leading you down one specific area, as you may choose one path that leads to something that feels undesirable, or as it maybe even feels wrong. The movie will then rewind and reset time back to the decision and give you both choices again. You can choose to undo your path or stick with it and see where it leads. But if you're a first-timer, I would say go with your gut. So Bandersnatch was not an excellent movie, I'm going to say. It was, at least though, an entertaining and extremely fun time. Something I could totally recommend. So stop by Netflix, check it out, because if this is a success, should be more like it coming on the way. And I would love to see more movies like this. Anyways guys, thanks for stopping by the quest. I hope you liked this review of Bandersnatch. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And as always, if you want to be part of the adventure, subscribe right here and join the quest.